Hey, White Hall Baptist Church. I uh, just wanted to send a, a quick message here and give you an update on some exciting things that have transpired over this last week. As many of you know, our governor has lifted the restriction on houses of worship to be able to begin meeting again, and we're excited about that. Um, obviously, it's been a couple of months now that we have been meeting online only, and uh, while that has been a blessing to be able to continue to meet that way, I am ex- so excited to be able to start meeting again in person, and uh, I know this is going to be a tremendous blessing to our church to, to, to get back to being able to do that and implementing some things again that uh, we've missed so much over this last couple of months. Um, Now, with that restriction, many of you know that they they do have in place um, uh, the social distancing of six feet uh, apart, and we will be observing those things as well. Uh, You may be a little confused with the, uh, as I was initially, where they had mentioned that uh, it needed to be meetings of groups of 10 or less. Um, That is in reference to situations in which people are unable to keep the six feet of social distancing. Obviously, here at the church, we're going to be able to do that. And I'm going to explain a little bit about how we're going to be able to go about doing that. So this Sunday, we're going to go back to a live uh, in-person service. We will be live streaming the service as well. And so um, that will be taking place this Sunday uh, as we're going to be able to join again and uh, looking forward to that. Uh, For our Sunday school hour, we will continue with our our love and respect. And uh, the way that we'll do that is at 930. Anybody that's uh, able to be here in person and is a part of that class will meet and uh, we will do a big Zoom call like we have been doing these past few weeks uh, for everybody that's able to be present. And then um, for those that are unable to be here, they will be, will be able to jump on the Zoom call as well and to be able to be a part of the conversation for, uh, for this Sunday. And so plan on that this Sunday morning for our Sunday school hour. During the uh, main service, again, we're going to be observing social distancing. And so uh, there, what that entails is, um, you know, if somebody, if you come in, somebody sitting in a, in, a, in a row, don't go and sit down right next to them. Obviously, families can sit together, but um, we want to make sure that we're keeping spacing in between. And so don't sit right behind each other, right beside each other. Um, if, if you're not in the same family, uh, make sure that you're you're making sure that there's plenty of space between you and uh, and the other families will fellowship in that way. Uh, we we will not be having our normal children's classes. And all of these things that we're talking about will, are going to be in reference to this Sunday. We'll reevaluate and uh, make some changes and, and, and do some things differently probably next Sunday. But for this Sunday, we will not be having any children's classes. Uh, we will have our nursery open. And so um, the way that will work is if a parent does bring uh, their child here and they're unable to, uh, to sit in the service with them, then they're welcome to go and sit in our nursery with their child and uh, be able to watch the service on the screen and there and it'll be live streamed um, that way. Uh, but we will not have our normal nursery uh, care provided. Um, we will expect parents to to go with their children if they need to do that into uh, into the to the nursery. Um, there will not be an afternoon service this week, and uh, we will be having a condensed morning service. We'll just do a couple of songs and jump right into the message and, and with the intention of trying to uh, shorten the length of the service uh, to help with uh, people not having to use the restrooms and things. Obviously, um, anytime that you're going into a place like that, uh, there's an opportunity to spread uh, bacteria and, and things like that. And so we want to make sure that to the best of our ability that we limit the use of, of our facilities as much as possible. Um, that way we're not touching all kinds of things. Uh, we will be cleaning uh, the church and, and making sure everything's sanitized, making sure everything's um, you know up to par. And that way we haven't had anybody in our church uh, for quite some time. And so um, our, our church is going to be uh, uh, clean and, and ready for, to go for this Sunday. And so um, looking forward to having some actual light people in this Sunday. Now, with all the restriction and everything that's still going on, um, it's not going to be normal, but but our goal right now is for May the 31st to be what we're going to call a reunion service. And uh, May 31st is our, is our church's anniversary service, and we'll be celebrating the anniversary of, of Whitehall Baptist Church's establishment 21 years ago. And uh, we're excited about doing that. 
Um, but uh, on that Sunday, uh, in addition to that being our anniversary service, our goal is to have a reunion service in which we're going to be coming back together and having a special Sunday. And so that's about a month out. That's going to give us plenty of time to kind of move through, get some things in place, and then have an awesome and exciting Sunday uh, coming up on that special Sunday. So be- begin praying uh, for wisdom on how to do things and just praying for that specific Sunday service as we're going to have a wonderful time together on May the 31st. Now let me say this. There are a lot of people in our church that that have various opinions uh, and different opinions on uh, the way that all of the things around COVID-19 has been handled, um, whether it's uh, on the government level, all the way down to the individual church level. And so there's a varying and, and various opinions. And uh, let me tell you this, not everyone agrees. Now, With that being said, that doesn't mean that we have to have strife amongst each other, okay? Uh, We can come together and we can still worship the Lord, um, but we can take these precautions that are necessary. And so I I would encourage this, just like we did on that first Sunday, um, whenever we kind of initially started implementing some of these things. This Sunday, uh, specifically, if you have a health risk, if you are a higher risk, um, if you are sick, if there's anything like that, then then we would encourage you to stay home this Sunday. Um, now, we're going to miss you, but um, we want you to be safe. And so if you are at a higher risk or there is some type of concern or something like that, please stay home. Um, we, we want you to be safe and you can you can watch the service live stream just like we've been doing over these past few weeks and you can stay in touch with that. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're working through all of this with wisdom, again, cleaning the facilities, taking care of things. Um, and, and trying to, to, to make sure everything's clean, um, make sure that everything's set up, making sure that we're implementing all of these things that are possible. But at the end of the day, we just have to have wisdom um, as we go through uh, and, and jump back into to services. Now, the, this isn't going to be normal. Um, some people have said, well, we can't wait to return to normal. And, and I would encourage you, rather than, than approaching with that thought, I'd encourage you with this. Let's not go back to normal. Okay? And what I mean by that is um, I think this is an opportunity and this virus and everything has given us the opportunity to look at things in a new light than what we've ever looked at things before. Most of us uh, in our lifetime have never experienced anything even remotely comparable to this. And and I would encourage you um, to allow everything that's taken place over these last couple of months to burden your heart in a greater way and, and to give you a deeper love for our church and for meeting together, for one another, and for the Lord. And, uh, you know, begin begin praying in that way, um, that, uh, that the Lord would deepen your love uh, for these things. And I hope that whenever we do come back and we are able to meet and things do go back to quote unquote normal to where we're able to have a service and, and, and go back to not having to, to worry so much about the social distancing. I hope as we get, as we, as we work towards that, I hope that, that you'll realize how wonderful uh, we have uh, the privilege to be able to meet together um, and, and to be able to worship together. And, and what an awesome opportunity that is for us. And we, we want to take advantage, full advantage of that opportunity anytime that we have that chance, anytime the doors are open, that we want to be faithful to be in church. Now, as we go into this Sunday, as we mentioned before, if you're not able to be here because of concerns of, of high risk and, and, and health issues, things like that. We completely understand and I hope that you will make plans to stay home and join with us online. I encourage you, don't don't miss the service. Don't use this as an excuse to, hey, well, they're recording and I'll just watch it later. No, 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 be with us uh, even online. But for those of you that are gonna be able to, to be here, and maybe you're on the fence, I just wanna leave you with a quick thought that uh, I was reading this morning in the scriptures in, in John chapter number 14 in, in verse number 26, the Lord Jesus Christ is here. He's, he's at the, the Last Supper, and he's given some, some instructions to disciples before he's going to be, just, going to be uh, taken and, and, and led away to be crucified. He told his disciples, he said, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father uh, shall, will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. And he says this, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Friend, can I encourage you, the world is, is and, and you know this, and we've been preaching about these last few weeks, that the world is, is still extremely anxious and overly anxious. But friend, don't forget, God is still in control. And we have the Holy Spirit living within us as a child of God who, who gives us peace and he promises to give us peace. And listen, friend, the Lord is in control of your life 
and he's in control of your circumstances. He's in control of your health. And uh, we need to respond in faith that the Lord's going to take care of us. Uh, the Lord can take care of us and he will take care of us if we respond with wisdom, with caution. And uh, as long as we're doing our utmost to, to obey him, his word, and to honor the Lord. And so we're looking forward to this Sunday. I hope many of you will plan to be a part of this, even if maybe some of your family needs to stay home and, and other part, the, you know, part of your family can come. I hope that uh, that you'll make plans to be with us. If you need to take additional precautions and you need to, you would like to wear a mask or or gloves and things like that, hey, you're welcome to do that by all means. Uh, we're just looking forward to meeting together this Sunday and being able to rejoice and worship the Lord together. And so, make plans. Be with us this Sunday at 10:30. Obviously, if you want to be part of the Sunday school class, class at 9:30, we'll be sending out links and stuff for that in the next day or so. And uh, and for the rest of uh, of us that are gonna, just going to be able to be there for the for the Sunday morning service. I hope that you'll make plans. Be there at 1030. Be there online if you're at home watching uh, through a computer or on your TV or some other way on your cell phone. And for those of us that are able to meet together here at the church, we are looking forward to the doors of the church being open and for you being able to come in and sit down and be able to worship together in the church as a church body together again. We're looking forward to some of these things, uh, restrictions being lightened even in the days ahead. Um, and as we, we begin, um, I hope that you'll be in prayer for this Sunday, um, that the Lord would work and that we would see him, him do some great things as we begin to meet back together. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this. And uh, we're looking forward to all that the Lord's going to do in the days ahead. We'll continue to make announcements going into next week. Um, and uh, we're anticipating great things this Sunday. Hey, God bless. Thanks for being, uh, being a part of uh, this this message and and for watching this and uh, hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you on Sunday morning.